So these guys wants to follow the footstep of Peter Obi. I thought they said um, public debate is not constitutional. Yes. All right, guys. Um, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all. Depending on your location at this time of the day, we are still talking about politics. What is going on in Nigeria? So we have less than 72 days to uh, election for Nigerians to decide who will be their president. Okay, um, just as you have seen on your screen, Atiku Abu Bakr has challenged Bola Tinubu to face off with him in a national debate. Yes. Now, um, I don't know what to say, but these guys have seen the advantage Peter B have. Anywhere he goes, everywhere he goes, both town hall meeting, debate, Peter B is always performing excellent. Yes. And now um, they also see that um, public debate where Peter will be attend is also boasting his political career and his chances to win uh, 2023 election. So I think Kwabubaka speaking through his campaign spokesperson yesterday, Friday, Mr. Kola, I think we asked uh, Tinibu to stop running away from public debate ahead of the 20. 23 election. Okay, so personally, I don't know the reason why um, Tinibu, remember, APC says that uh, Tinibu attending public debate or not, that it is not constitutional. So um, everyone knows or speculate that uh, it is the fear of, you know, um, slip of tongues and so on. That is the more reason why Tinibu is running away from public debate. I mean, you guys understand uh, what I'm talking about. So according to um, Kola, he also boasted that uh, Atiku Abubakar will defeat Tinibu in a free and fair election. Okay, so what is he trying to say? That election is not always free and fair. I mean, that is by the way. All right, guys, um, I quickly want to update you. Now, these guys have seen the benefit of public debate. Why didn't Atiku Abubakar challenge Peter B? That is the question we should be asking. Because Atiku himself knows that Peter, Peter B is always ready. I mean, Peter B, nothing he loves so much than reaching out to people, speaking to people, you know, bringing out some policies and then um, so on. So according to um, uh, the spokesperson of Atiku Abubaka, he says that Tinubu does not have the requisite support that can deliver him in a presidential election with a type of rejection that is greeting him in various states, that there is no way he can secure the required 25% of vote in two to three of states, right? And he also said that um, even in Lagos, Tinubu has lost considerable foothold after being uh, demystified as a failed and oppressive leader with litany of allegations. All right, um, we also said that Atiku is the only candidate in 2023 race who has the capacity of winning uh, the constitutionally required 25% of vote cast in two of three of states across the federation. Okay, so that is from Atiku Abubaka. But the question still remains, why is Atiku not inviting Peter B? I mean, I would have loved to see Atiku and Peter will be in public debate. I mean, we are always talking about policies. We are always talking about programs. We are always talking about, as in, agenda. Yes, that is what we are always talking about. And Peter will be has these requisites, giving you statistics. I mean, and these guys is always afraid of statistics, accuracy, of course. Whenever Peter Obi talks, he gives you example, gives you statistics, and tell you to go and verify. But of course, will Atiku Abubaka delivers that? Will Tinibu delivers that? Well, you be the judge. All right, I quickly want to update you. Um, Atiku is challenging the uh, Tinibu on a public debate. Why is he not challenging Peter Obi? Let me know what you think on the comment section below. See you in another update.